Hello again guys, this is George Brad and I'm back with another video for you to enjoy. It's a rainy day here in Romania and uh, what a better time for me to uh, take a break from my other activities and um, produce something for you to um, see and learn from and whatnot. So uh, this time I decided to share with you a quick demo from my mentorship online class. If you are aspiring concept artist and feel stuck on your path, getting a mentor might be the solution for you. Um, I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions with homeworks design to tackle each student's weaknesses in particular, um, among many, many other things. Um, so if you're serious and dedicated and um, are interested in such a thing feel free to drop me an email or a message and uh, we can take it further from there um, all right so uh, that's being said let's get back to this piece over here which I decided to call tribe village um, yeah so um, again it's um, I'm, I'm pretty much I'm thinking about speaking freely and um, pretty much just I just want to cover what's in my head and um, you know the process behind it more or less so um, I always start my sketches with um, grayish grayish line art um, tone as you can see uh, I feel black is quite strong and um, too uh, it, it gives too much contrast at the beginning and a gray tone, a gray grain line um, makes it feel a little bit more um, forgiving um, sort of speak so I don't feel so bad um, while doing mistakes and um, playing and experimenting so uh, yeah um, sometimes you know I start with um, a shape first like a pure gray shape uh, sometimes not um, in this case I had a um, better clearer vision about what I want to do um, I got inspired by some um, tribal Afri African tribal culture architecture ish thing um, from Pinterest so you know I just decided to try my own version of um, and see you know what I, what I will come up with um, so you know decided to made, make a mountain um, or a hill rather compared to a flat terrain um, nothing wrong with flat terrains is just that I feel that um, it, you know it gives a little bit more story and um, um, it's more visually interesting where when um, I had architecture on a um, hill or mountain or um, on a plane which is not straight or almost straight so um, um, that's pretty much what I'm what I've been thinking while I was doing this uh, so once I'm happy with the sketch, with the grayish uh, sketch, I'm coming on top and I'm pretty much putting my my lines. I'm also thinking about where should I focus some extra details and where not um, and you know things like that. And uh, one thing I want to mention for this demo is that um, I've been focusing heavily on shapes so you can see that even before I added shadows um, I pretty much make a contour around them to see if um, the shape of the shadow is visually interesting and uh, I don't put the actual sh uh, shadow lines uh, or shadow hatching until that shape looks pleasing by itself so um, uh, line art is pretty much um, it's you know it's it's my main thing sort of speak but I don't think in lines I think in um, uh, I think in shapes so uh, you know lines are just um, tool 
but you know the mentality has to be always thinking shapes and um, you know the curvature and everything else um, so um, yeah and you know pretty much um, putting I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep um, the same architectural style but with little adjustments for each house um, and you know that's because in today's world where when you construct a building you can pretty much duplicate and construct another one 100% the same but um, keeping in mind that this is a tribe and you know they don't have um, ultra precise tools um, I, I, I was imagining that each of their house um, you know have the same style but with slight adjustments um, depending on each and depending on each person's taste um, if I can say that so um, I'm also if you can see I added um, some tricks that gives uh, life to, to this type of architecture are the boxes and all those small shapes I put near the house and near the ladders and um, um, everything else and some fabric as you can see uh, and, and those tiny details they seem banal and um, my guess is that some people might not even notice them or pay too much attention to them but they are a crucial element which gives um, more story and uh, it makes it makes that scene and or environment alive so um, that's pretty much their only purpose it's a cheap and beautiful trick um, I've been using it a lot uh, if you if you, if you paid attention to my other um, artworks uh, so it's you know pretty much again simple box simple things um, I'm also trying to think on each piece um, of some sort of story and um, on this piece I was thinking about um, I, I drew a branch on the foreground uh, right now it's not visible but soon you will see a branch on the top of the canvas and I plan to draw two or three people standing on it and watching the village um, this is the kind of stories I'm trying to tackle something you know they, they are a, a little bit abstract uh, they don't say a precise story but they let the viewer imagine whatever they want and uh, that's always my goal uh, I try to let my viewers interpret uh, whatever they want when they watch my uh, watch my artworks so you know you can imagine that um, those three guys want to attack the village or you can imagine that those three guys are um, villagers themselves and they just climb the tree and they watch their homes or you know they are guests or whatever it's you know the possibilities are limitless uh, so that's that's pretty much how I want to 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 tackle it. Um, in regards of the foreground, as you can see, I'm trying to be pretty loose. Um, I almost don't care at all about back uh, about foreground and you know background themselves. I just want to draw some shapes which will complete and um, gives give extra depth to my um, mid ground to my actual piece itself. Um, so that's that that's pretty much how I think about them when I when I design them you know simple shapes uh, simple hatching um, consistent and uh, yeah beautiful so um, now I'm jumping here and there making some details I'm trying to add again simple shapes um, simple details some round you know um, things oh here's the branch I was talking about uh, now I'm doing it I'm trying to add some leaves um, putting some line weight and um, again more leaves and I'm trying to again think at big shapes when I when I'm thinking about those leaves 
so I want to think in big, medium and small shapes and I'm trying to create the hatching orientation uh, in such a way that it looks messy but organized and pleasing um, and yeah in, this is pretty much pretty much it for today um, again this is short um, quick and um, yeah short and quick basically but the reason for that is because I'm planning to do more of this and perhaps one or two weekly so expect to see more and um, Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, I'm open to topics uh, of discussion. If you don't want me to just uh, blabber about what's in my head at the current time, uh, feel free to suggest some um, some topics. Um, and you know, until you do, I'm just gonna <laughs> uh, talk about whatever whatever's in my head uh, at that particular moment. So uh, thank you guys for uh, joining me and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye.